scrappers, what's up garbage pickers, YouTubers, trash talkers, dumpster divers, recyclers, who knows what else. Uh, I got a couple fire extinguishers here today. Thought I'd do a really quick breakdown video because these are quick breakdowns. Maybe it's just me, but I know when I first started scrapping, I was always worried about fire extinguishers when I find a couple, um, cause I really don't know anything about them and they, they seem like they would explode. <laughs> I don't know why, I guess because they're pressurized, but so I was always worried about them. Um, but they're actually really nice pieces to pick up uh, because one, you can resell them, two, uh, you can scrap them. So uh, this is a nice big piece of clean aluminum cylinder here from one. So this is what we want. This is what we want to do with this one. And the only problem with this one is, this one's steel. So this is not gonna be our uh, an aluminum extinguisher, but regardless, uh, still one we're going to break down here for the scrap yard. So um, there are a couple different types of extinguishers out there. Again, there's the steel ones. Um, there's these aluminum ones, and those are the kind I like. And then, of course, there's the antique ones or the brass ones. Um, those are big-time collector items. Those go for some serious money. If you come across one, um, it's more ornate. Again, it's brass. I mean, you definitely, you, you can tell it's an old one. Uh, try to sell that, dude. Do not scrap it. All right, so here's our extinguisher. Uh, one other quick, kind of quick thing to mention. Um, now, you can resell these. They can be reused and refilled. Uh, I don't know a lot about it. I don't know if it's only certain types of extinguishers. Um, I know the date is what matters. Um, normally, the times they'll have these tags, and these are the inspection tags. This one has a tag, 2014. Um, so that's, what, six years old. Um, I don't really know what the shelf life of these are, and I don't know what the shelf life is for uh, refilling them. Um, I think I've heard it's about five years, so um, I don't know if that's quite right. Could I sell this? Uh, yeah, maybe, you know, if I want to stick it on Facebook or something, but uh, I don't have time for that today. I just want to scrap it. I want to show you guys how to scrap it, so that's what we're going to do. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure it's empty. How do you make sure it's empty? Well, you want to discharge it. So here we go. You squeeze the trigger. Um, I already know this one's empty, so normally I would kind of guide my uh, hose there a little bit, but squeeze it down. And if there was stuff in there, it would come out. This one has nothing, so that's good to go. All right, I'm gonna do this one-handed here, so I'm gonna hold it between my uh, my feet and hold it firm, but um, really all you gotta do is this whole piece right here will just kind of twist off. You might need a wrench sometimes. There we go, keep on screwing it. see some of that stuff coming out and that's it that's all it takes to get that cylinder uh, cylinder clean of course mine is snapping that plastic off and taking that little piece of metal off I snap this band I can see uh, still see a little bit coming out there there you go that stuff's non-toxic but uh you know it's messy and i wouldn't uh wouldn't sit there and breathe it in let's make sure we got it all empty here so there's a little bit more in there than i thought Woo! smoky if we want to check out this top mechanism here, um, you're going to have a little bit of trash, you're going to have a little bit of steel, you should have some aluminum. Um, fortunately, this nice piece is going to be uh, steel. I've seen stainless steel ones before. There you go. Um, but this has got a nice big chunk of aluminum right there. All that. And then it's going to be steel or shred, light iron, whatever you want to call it little gauge right here will pop off it could be a little piece of brass or something in there so um let's see if we can just turn it here there we go I'm lucky that uh this one's been loose all right folks that was it it uh, literally took about i don't know a minute or so here to do this um, but let's recap. So this is our uh, our steel uh, fire extinguisher. All right, it's clean now. Um, what do we get out of it? Uh, each one's a little bit different. Um, this one we got a real small piece of aluminum. 
uh, piece of dirty aluminum or irony aluminum. Uh, the same with this. Now, this is a nice chunk. Um, I'm probably gonna probably gonna throw that in the in the bucket of stuff to mess with later. Um, I'll probably try to clean that. But uh, dirty aluminum. Then we've just got a little bit of shred or light iron. Same with this. A little bit of trash. And that was it. Uh, not much to it. Now, one thing I probably should have mentioned that you may be asking is, uh, okay, why in the heck even break this thing down? Um, if you don't care about that piece of aluminum or that piece of dirty aluminum, uh, why are we even breaking this down, not taking it to the scrapyard as is? Uh, I can't speak for everywhere. Um, I know my law or my my scrapyard, which may even be a law for all I know, but my scrapyard does not take these um, in their natural form. You've got to break them down before they'll take them. Maybe because they're pressurized inside, not sure. But even though this one wasn't aluminum, um, I still had to break it down anyway because uh, I want to be able to scrap it. So that's what I got. If I missed anything, you got any questions, let me know uh, in the comments. I love connecting. Otherwise, please like, comment, and subscribe, all that cool stuff. As always, happy scrapping. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you very much.